1972, I became a member of the CACM. And I think one of the first, uh, no, of the ACM, <laughs> and one of the first CACM issues that I received contained uh, a mutual exclusion algorithm. And I looked at that and it seemed to me that that was awfully complicated. There should be a really, you know, simpler solution. And I decided, oh, here's a very simple solution for two processors. I wrote it up, I sent it to ACM, and the uh, editor sent it back saying, uh, here is the bug in your algorithm. Uh, that taught me something. <laughs> it taught me that uh, concurrency was uh, a difficult problem and that uh, it was essential to have proofs of correctness of any algorithm uh, that I wrote. And it, well, of course, it got me mad at myself for being such an idiot and uh, determined to solve the problem. And in attempting to solve it, I came up with the bakery algorithm. And of course, I wrote a uh, careful proof. Uh, or for those days, was a careful proof. Uh, and in the course of writing the proof, I discovered that the bakery algorithm had this amazing property that uh, it did not require atomicity of uh, reads and writes. And I understood that that was a really cool thing. And I'm not sure at which point it made me realize that I had really solved the mutual exclusion problem because I had written an algorithm that didn't require any underlying mutual exclusion. Uh, something that there was uh, one article by Per Brink Hansen that said was impossible. So felt nice having solved an impossible problem. <laughs> I've read in, in uh, one of your um, perspectives on it that you thought it was the one algorithm that you discovered rather than invented. Um, I'm not sure I understand the distinction. Can you <laughs> elaborate on that? I'm not sure I understand the distinction either, but uh, there's just, there just seemed to be something fundamental about it. And maybe the basic idea of the use of a counter, uh, a sequence of numbers that can, in fact, uh, increase forever, that you will see uh, elsewhere in things I've done. I think in other things that I've done, I can look back and see uh, this idea developed from something else, uh, sometimes leading back to a previous idea of mine, very often leading to something that somebody else had done. But the bakery algorithm, it just seemed to come out of thin air to me. There, there was nothing like it that preceded it. So perhaps that's why I'm proudest of it. <laughs>